Hey guys and welcome to Dainty Bite. Today I'm gonna show you the most successful way to make pumpkin pancakes that are so light. You're gonna be amazed. Let me show you how to make them and let's get started. For the dry ingredients, you're gonna add two cups of all-purpose flour, a touch of salt, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. And for the amazing warm flavors of pumpkin, you're gonna add some spices, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of cloves, a quarter teaspoon of ginger, and you're gonna grate some fresh nutmeg, about a quarter teaspoon as well. You're gonna mix the dry ingredients and set them aside and you're gonna work on the wet ingredients. You're gonna start by cracking two extra large eggs, 65 to 68 grams each. I always love to use extra large eggs when it comes to baking, you'll get a much much better result. You're gonna add half a tablespoon of vanilla extract, mix very very well. Add one cup of buttermilk and one cup of pure pumpkin puree. For your convenience, I'm gonna leave all the amounts and all the ingredients in the description box below, so check it out. I'm gonna simply add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and mix just until combined. You don't wanna overmix your batter and few lumps are okay. And if you notice, I didn't add any butter or oil to the batter, but it's still gonna be so, so moist and so light. And this is great. I'm gonna stop mixing and preheat the pan to medium low heat. You can use a cooking spray, but I highly encourage you to use a little bit of butter, about five to six grams for each pancake. It's a thicker batter, spread it as much as you can and let it cook on medium to low heat. Ready to flip on the other side. And it's golden and beautiful. Start stacking those pancakes. Just make sure it's cooked all the way through. I'm gonna show you a couple more. If you're liking my recipes, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button so that you won't miss any of my recipes and follow me on social media, the links are gonna be in the description box below. You're gonna wanna stack them, serve them warm, top with room temperature butter, toasted pecans and pumpkin seeds, and warm maple syrup. All you have to do now is dig in. I hope you give them a try soon. And until next time, bon appétit.